Hello everyone, I'm that IT guy and today I'm going to show you how to synchronize your Google Calendar with your Outlook Calendar. Now technically this is not a native function but with the help of a, of a free third party app we can do this easily. Have in mind that this also means you can have synchronized your Outlook Calendar with your phone, with your tablet or any other device that supports Google Calendar. This third party application we're going to be using actually supports any type of CalDAF calendar that you, you'll see basically that you have several services to choose from but most importantly if you have your own hosting and that hosting uses a cPanel administration system you can create your own web dub server on with, with CalDAF technology on your hosting and keep your calendar to yourself and to your devices regardless of whether you have a Google account or you don't so let's get started first thing we'll need to do in order to synchronize the calendar is go ahead and open Google Calendar. Once we have it open, you'll notice we have our calendar, which is currently empty, but I've gone ahead and, and added a test entry just so we have something to work with. Moving ahead, we'll want to open Outlook and we'll see the immediate problem. The fact is that unfortunately Outlook does not have a native feature to synchronize calendars. While there is a way for Google uh, to provide you a link in order to see your calendar in Outlook, there is no way to automatically update or to edit it. So what we're going to do, I've downloaded a file which you can find on the link below in the description. And this file is a program created by, it's a program created by another person, it's not mine, it's all the rights go to, to that person. And you can find it in SourceForge, the link again in the, in the description of the download within this Great by IT website. So we go ahead and install it, it's a pretty simple installation as you can see. And we'll go ahead and open Outlook now. We'll notice that automatically Outlook will, will load in the add-in, as you can see here. Once we have Outlook open, we'll see that we have a new option there called Cold App Synchronizer, which is what, we, what we'll be using to synchronize both calendars. Technically, you can synchronize your main calendar, but for the purpose of this test, I'm creating a new calendar just so I can have them separate. One on just purely Outlook, I my PC, and one that will show my Google Calendar, which I can also synchronize with my tablet, my phone, whatever device we want. As long as the device supports Google Calendar, of course. of this test we're just going to enable view option on a scrape by it guy calendar and we're going to general options within the CalDAV synchronizer now personally i don't like to have automatic updates on anything i like to do updates myself but this is entirely up to you the options here are mostly just uh they're, they're just general i will trigger sync after outlook sends receives and startup so that way every time I, out, I, I open outlook it won't wait it will just automatically synchronize the next thing we need to do is click on synchronization profiles, click add. I will notice that there's a lot of options here. I mean, for this purpose, obviously we're just gonna use Google, but you can use any CalDAV service, even things as a cPanel if you have your own hosting. We'll put a random name, this part doesn't really matter. This is just so you can identify it in your Outlook. We'll have to select the actual calendar, we'll be doing the import too. And the next thing we need to add is, uh, well, we can, we can, yeah, we can, we can basically check synchronize items immediately after change. That way, if you add something on Outlook, it'll automatically uh, synchronize your Google Calendar. We'll have to add our Gmail or Google account, followed by clicking on test settings. This will open a new browser window and you'll have to ask, well, Google will ask you if you want to give permissions to run this this application so we just click allow and we can go ahead and close this window we'll now notice we have a window that allows us to choose which calendar from our Google Calendar we want to import and synchronize so we're choosing the right one as you can see everything went okay 
So I'm gonna change the condensation to five minutes. You can do less or more, it's entirely up to you. Personally, I think five minutes is about right. There's no need for the system to be doing connections every minute or every two minutes. We're gonna synchronize now for the first time. And there we go, we see the test entries there. We're gonna try and add a new entry just to make sure that the synchronization works both ways. And now we'll go to Google Calendar. There we go instantly now you'll notice if you add another um another entry here now we're gonna do outlook won't update it instantly it's not doesn't work that that same way as we just did however it will update it the next time it needs to update if you remember we did specify it as five minutes so what we're going to do we're going to synchronize straight away anyway just so you can see we have it there Even though technically we could just close Outlook and open it again and it'll have the same effect. But as you can see, the third test entry is there. And now we've essentially and successfully synchronized both Outlook and Google Calendar. If we also have Google Calendar on an Android phone or an Apple phone, basically or on any other device that supports Google Calendar, we can keep all of, the, all of our devices up to date in terms of the events and scheduled tasks and so on. From me, that's all. I'm that IT guy, and I'll see you next time.